Hello everyone, I am Priya. Welcome back to my channel Beautify Your Place. Today's video is about DIY. I am making use of glass honey bottles into deco page art. Those who are lazy, want to make some quick DIYs, here is a technique that is deco page. These are the deco page art. This I have done two years back. I have applied varnish so it is dust free and lasts long. These are the napkin sheet which we get as a paper will be pasting on top of the glass bottles to make this beautiful artwork. These decoupage art bottles can be used for multi-purpose. You can use it for dry fruits, can be used as a planter, can be used for decor piece, you can keep your art materials and many more. Without wasting much time, let's get into video. Here I am using 3 Dabber honey bottles which are of glass, 2 are of same size, bigger ones and the center one is smaller one. Before starting the work, we have to remove the wrapper, we have to keep in the water, clean it nicely, let it dry for the next step. Now I will take the center bottle, the background will be light pink acrylic color. So I will take a sponge. I'll dip in water, I'll squeeze it completely, then I mix white and red color acrylic paint to get light pink. So I'll start dabbing. Take the paint on the sponge, then start dabbing. Not dragging, just start dabbing. This way we'll be completing the background. You can see the background, it is completed with one coat. Let it dry and the same procedure will be repeated once again for the second coat. Coming to other two bottles, the front portion I am planning to do green color. So the sides I am just dabbing pink color, not completely, I am just dabbing here and there because I am planning to do multicolor over there and the front portion will be light green shade. Now to get a light green, I am mixing white and sap green colors. To get this one only the front portion is done this color so I start dabbing with this take a color on the sponge start dabbing so this way once it is dried we'll be giving one more coat on top of this now I am dabbing the same light green around the long bottles for the two big bottles I'm giving multicolor look so first pink I have done and green color I have started later I'll be using yellow and red the same dabbing goes here and there around the long bottles somewhere like this again sides here and there we are just dabbing to get different shades this is called decoupage tissue paper this comes in four napkins these are called napkins so the same print will be having one two three and four there are four napkins like this so i am planning to do this i just cut this hut shape and i'll be pasting it over the center portion i got one more decoupage paper in this a bird print is over there so i just cut it and paste it over the long bottles. I'll explain you how to cut the decoupage paper. Always take a paint brush, wet in water, just dab the water with a brush, go dabbing on the paper. Whatever the particular place you want to cut it, just make it wet with the water and then you'll be cutting it with your fingers. So don't use the scissor, that will not give a finishing look. So this is the proper way whenever you use decoupage paper slowly be gentle with the paper to cut it to separate the paper one once you take out the required paper you understand there are three different layers so there are two thin layers which are like tissue paper just remove it this is the first layer and there is one more thin layer the second thin layer just separate slowly be gentle with the paper and only the 
top layer which is thin one will be pasting it on the bottles i have separated the thin layers from the decoupage paper balls are pasted on the two long bottles and tent house at the center now we will see how to make a fevicol consistency for decoupage paper so here the ratio is 1 is to 1 so if you take one spoon of fevicol you will be adding one spoon of water to make it thin consistency this thin fevicol layer will be pasting on top of glass bottle using a paint brush now take the decoupage paper stick this on the fevicol slowly be gentle it is very thin then take a dry a fan brush so that it will stick on the bottle and you will be applying a coat of fevicol all around the sides and also on top of the paper to seal this paper same procedure will be doing for the parrots also so once the paper is stick everywhere on the sides then one more coat of uh, fevicol will be added all around on the top of picture sides so that it will be sealed everywhere decoupage paper is used all around the pink bottle so the butterfly flowers tent house is ready for the long bottles I have made the front portion with the decoupage and all around the dabbing technique and the second long bottles also same thing front bold and all around the dabbing technique once the bottle are dried that is uh, the fevicol is dried later I am giving this pink color dots all over the bottle it is in a zigzag manner so I am not keeping on the picture the birds just all around the sides back side I'll be giving dots with pink and later I'll be giving white color in between the pink color I'm taking acrylic white paint just taking on back side of brush and I'll be keeping in between these once the artwork is ready leave it for a day to dry completely Later you will be taking a varnish on top of a brush. You just go spreading all over one or two coat. So this varnish helps uh, the product to look shining, dust free and last long. Varnish takes one or two days to dry completely. So keep in a dry place. After a day it is ready to use. Now you will see where I have used in the home. I hope you got some ideas. We'll be coming up with more such DIYs in my upcoming videos. Till then, bye bye.